All right, hey, we told you about this story. Doctor's notes being handed out to teachers protesting in Madison, uh, Madison, Wisconsin, so they don't get in trouble for skipping school. Now, the University of Wisconsin is investigating to see if its employees violated any rules by doing this. Well, we did our own investigation. Check out what Fox News correspondent Griff Jenkins the Great found out. An interesting development here. We have actual doctors signing prescription uh, forms that allow them. Okay, it's. Can you tell me what it is, ma'am? We are not signing prescriptions. But it's a a work release form. Is that what it is? We are not signing prescriptions. Okay, again, not being very forthcoming with what it is, but they're actual doctors and they're signing releases for people to get out of going to work. Could you just tell me, so I know, are you writing actual prescriptions for no, people? No, we're not. This is a doctor-patient confidential interaction. Yeah. It it's a doctor-patient... Confidential. I'm just trying to find out. Someone said that doctors were giving out yeah. something, and so I'm trying to feel... I was feeling ill, so I told her it has been going on for months. But what is the... What are you writing? What are you giving as a physician? She is giving me a doctor's note in case I need it to keep my job. So I'm... We're, we're giving doctor's notes for people who have been uh, feeling ill and need need work too. Instead so this of calling is... the clinic, she's standing here taking her time, donating her time, I'm sure, to give people the tools that they need to keep on working. And can I see the form? I don't want to see the uh, the sorry, person's name. Yeah, it has my but name and birthday on it. You can I just? No, no, no. I don't. You want, have not asked me for. I don't want to intrude on. I don't want to intrude. I don't want to intrude on your HIPAA rights. I just want to see a blank form to see where you're. I'm, I'm sorry, but there's a. I, we're in the middle mine. of uh, working right now, and I, I don't actually want to. But but you're in the middle of the street. I just wanted to know what you're doing. If I came into your doctor's office while you were getting a checkup, how would you feel about that? I wouldn't like that. But we're not in the doctor's office. Oh, we're on the sidewalk what? in the middle I'm of a protest. I am so <laughs> sick of all this crap. It is causing me mental anguish beyond belief. I can't, you know, who knows to say? Who's to say when I could crack? Because I am this close. Yeah, yeah. Please help me. Help me, please. Hey, can, can I just have a, a blank form? No, you can't. So the doctor is handing out some sort of medical work release form. We're not willing to talk to us, but a gentleman who doesn't want to be identified went and actually participated in the process. Sir, tell me what happened and what is it that they're doing here on this street corner? They're basically giving out uh, doctor's excuses for people that are missing work. And they're, you come up there and they say, what's your illness? And I say, I don't know. And they say, well, what do you have anxiety? What do you have? And they just start writing stuff down. And I never told them I had an illness. And they wrote me a two or three day uh, excuse to get out of work. I believe these are false, uh, false things he's handing out. And it's just a line of people and they're just lined up to get out of work. Busted by Griff Jenkins. By the way, the MacIver Institute, which is an outfit that uh, put together some of those pictures of those crazy signs toward the governor out there, they estimate that given all the teachers who called in sick, uh, it looks like the state could pay, wind up paying $6 million for the teachers effectively to protest because due to collective bargaining rules in place, teachers are paid. To protest. You know, it's interesting because if they I, I, get a note, I from wonder the how doctor. those protesters would, would feel if that six million came out of their pensions and their and their salaries. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not sure they're thinking that through when in fact they're not showing up for work. Uh, we're losing money. Bottom line: when somebody makes a bold assertion and they say we have a deficit problem, don't spend, and it's reported we have a deficit problem, when that's not true, we don't have a short-term deficit problem. You know that, he knows that, I know that, and he knows that. And every economist in the country knows that.